good morning. Welcome to this video. Oh, it's so early. <laughs> Hi, my name is Madeline. If you've never been here before, welcome to a bikini prep vlog. I am currently eight weeks out from my first ever bikini competition, which is a division in women's bodybuilding. It's like the smallest division. I am 12 weeks into a 20 week prep. Sorry, it's dark outside. It's still freaking early. I'm on my way to the gym. But my last bikini prep video where I really updated you guys was at 19 weeks out. So that was 11 weeks ago. So um, a lot has happened since then. Later in the video, I will quickly recap like the last 11 weeks, but I wanna start doing weekly videos because I asked you guys, did a poll on YouTube if you'd rather have one or two longer videos once it's all done or just weekly update videos. And you guys said shorter weekly update videos. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's Monday morning. I'm on my way to the gym. I have a leg day today. Every six weeks, my workout plan changes. My coach gives me new workouts. So this is a new one. So that's kind of exciting. I'm just gonna take you throughout my day today. I'll show you what it looks like. I do work eight to five. I'm trying to fit in all the bikini prep stuff into that schedule it is hard. That's why I get up super early. Yeah. Thank you for clicking on this video and let's go hit legs. Check, check. Woo. Eight, three, one, get the money. Gentrify my city. I think not. Yeah. What you know about the Berry City? Let me get it for you. They heard an anthem for the vessel. So let me spit. Watch them living on it, and I call it like I see. You can get it if you with it, baby. Eight, three, one, the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit the highway one, now we headed for the boardwalk. Gotta see me flexing, so my fashion make you trip. Strawberry chilling on the front side of my t shirt. Playing, I'ma have to tap bill on my lip. What you know about the Berry City? Let me spit. We headed for the slew when we hop up in the whip. We headed for the bean when we get a little hungry, and we headed for the function when nobody wanna trip. Sipping on that pink lemonade, Martin LA. Hit me with the sponsor, no, I'm rapping where I live. Get it for me one time, get it for me two times, get it for me thrice if you know it how it is. Yeah. Check. Check, check. Yeah, yeah. Eight, three, one, get the money. Gentrify my city. I think not. Rah. Rah. See, we come, get to run in. Mobbing in the bill, not the bed, but we bop. It's a bop, it's a bop. Get the money. Gentrify my city. I think not. Rah. See, we come, get to run in. Okay, hello. It's still kind of dark outside. So the sun is just now rising. Right over there. It's very pretty. I've realized it's almost like an alter ego when I go in the gym. Cause even if I feel super tired and not motivated, once I get in there and get like my gym playlist on, I just feel, I just like snap into it. I don't know. It's such a mind over matter thing. I don't know. I guess that's kind of why the gym is fun for me because I get to feel like aggressive and badass and compared to me in like normal life, I'm very like even tempered and just like, would rather be happy and <laughs> okay it is just about 7 a.m so i'm gonna go home get ready for work i work from home so that makes all of this a lot easier i won't be eating breakfast until probably like 9 or 10. that is one thing as my calories are getting lower uh <laughs> i wait longer to have breakfast that way all my meals are closer together and i can feel fuller gym is done i do still have 40 minutes of walking for my cardio today, but I go do that at lunch outside. Hello, it is a little bit later. Um, I'm ready for work. I'm probably gonna be wearing this pajama shirt all day because it's comfy and I work from home. Before I started work, I wanted to take a second to talk about why I am doing a bikini prep and why I'm competing in a bodybuilding competition because uh, it's super random for me. I'm not like, I don't know, I don't love attention or like showing off and it seem, might seem like that's exactly what bodybuilding is, at least the competition part, but I was thinking about it and I have three main reasons why I wanted to do this. The first one was that I just wanted to challenge myself. I really like working out and I've, been fairly consistent for a while, but I just wanted to have some goal to work towards and some direction with it. And going along with that, I wanted to kind of push the limit of my identity. Like when I think of myself, I don't think of someone who could compete in a bodybuilding competition, but I wanted to challenge that because there's a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson that I actually read this morning 
the only person you are destined to be is the person you decide to become or something like that. Not to get too meta, but like identity is just this mental construct. So we tell ourselves we can or can't do certain things. And then it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I just wanted to challenge that, push that and evolve into the version of me that could be a bodybuilder. And lastly, I wanted to just build more self-discipline. I think discipline is gonna help me in all areas of life, especially as I'm starting grad school, hopefully soon. I think I'll be able to use that there. So yeah, that's just a little bit of reasons of why I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna go start work and I will check in with you guys later for my breakfast. I'm gonna show you all my meals today and I'll show you the macros and all the nitty gritty. Hello, it is breakfast time. I'm so hungry, so excited. I've been making these pancakes for like four weeks now for my breakfast. They're so good. I will link the video that I got the recipe from down below. It's from another vegan bikini competitor. It has really great recipes and they're pretty easy to prep. It does take like a little while to cook all the pancakes, but then like today I'm just gonna heat it up. So it's easy today. It's my big bag of pancakes for the week. So it, when I make it, it makes like three and a half pancakes per serving. That's what I'm gonna have some blueberry pancakes with PB Fit powder and Walden Farms syrup on top. This stuff, is like a huge prep lifesaver because somehow it's zero calories and it's syrup. It definitely, it's like a learning curve. Um, the first time I had this, I didn't really like it, but now I'm so used to it that it, it's delicious to me. So might be a little bit of a have to get used to it kind of thing, but it's very good. The blueberry one is good. The regular pancake syrup one is my favorite. PB powder is really good for prep because it is lower fat than peanut butter and higher protein per like serving. It doesn't taste exactly like peanut butter, but it's pretty good. I have some time to take a break from work. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of recap the last 11 weeks of prep that I haven't specifically documented. I started prep 12 weeks ago and I was coming off of a three month bulking phase where I was focused on eating a lot of good food and building muscle. With bodybuilding, usually it goes in those kinds of phases. You have like your growth phase and then you have a prep before a show where you try to whittle down as much fat as possible and get really lean for the stage so that all your muscles pop. So yeah, so I set myself up really well. Like I got to start prep eating a lot of food, which is what you want. And the first five weeks of prep were super easy. It barely felt like a change from my normal lifestyle. The posing was very difficult. <laughs> I just didn't know what I was doing. I mean, I, I'm still definitely figuring that out does not come naturally to me. But then I did hit a bit of a plateau where I stopped losing weight. So the first five weeks, I lost about a pound a week and my waist was going down. And then I had like two or three weeks where my weight went back up a couple pounds or it stayed the same. Just, you know, what your body does, it just adjusts to the new plan. So we had to increase cardio, drop macros, that kind of stuff. But my coach has done that very slowly. There's, there was no like, big jump uh, and this whole time at least up to this point i've had two refeed days on thursdays and fridays which is just like a higher carb day where you eat more calories and i still have those so that's really nice <laughs> i'd say one thing i've noticed throughout prep is in the gym i am so much more intense and like focused kind of like i talked about this morning like i just get into this zone where it's like an alter ego and a lot of the workouts that I'm doing are higher rep because of just the desired outcome. So it's like four sets of 15 of things. That's a lot of reps. <laughs> I remember when I first started going to the gym, like I could barely force myself to do six to eight reps just because it does take like 
mind over matter. So that's definitely increased. Like I can get in there, get in the zone and really focus. It has gotten more challenging though. Like I said, it started out really easy, hit a bit of a plateau and it's been hard since then. Like it, it's not so difficult that like I'm quitting or anything. I have had days where I will literally ask Jackson like, should I just quit? <laughs> but it's just because it's a big time commitment and there's also no days off. And I heard other bodybuilders talking about this. You don't realize it. You don't really fully like get it till you're doing it. But even though you have rest days from the gym, like I'm only lifting five days a week and I have cardio six days a week. So I do have rest days from that, but your nutrition still has to be like 100%. There's no day where I just wake up and I'm like, oh, what do I feel like eating today? Like it is planned. I plan it out the night before in my fitness pal so I can make sure I'm hitting all my macros so that I don't have to eat some like a weird combination of things because you just have to plan for it. It really does start to like impact you more just to be so regimented for so long. I want to give it everything. I don't want to try to cheat or take any shortcuts because I am not competing like to win necessarily because it's not, it's, you just don't know. It's, it just depends on who shows up that day, but I just want to be really proud of the work I put in. But like I said, that does mean it's a big time commitment with the workouts and preparing all your food and packing your food and weighing your food, staying hydrated, just planning ahead. Overall, so far. Okay, I will put my first check-in pictures and then last week's check-in pictures. So nine weeks out. There is a huge difference. I don't know, like obviously it's, it's my body so I probably noticed more than other people, but as of right now, I am down 11 pounds. I had a new low weigh in this morning. It was 112.2. My waist is officially under 23 inches and I don't remember what it started at, but I think it was over 24. I don't know. I kind of, I have a small frame anyway. Like these measurements really don't mean anything except like proportionally like to know my progress. Way more muscle definition obviously than I've ever seen before because I'm leaner than I've ever been before. My posing is getting better, but it's got a long way to go. I definitely am really proud of myself. Like I've still been able to go out and socialize, be with my friends. I went with them to go get ice cream and there was a vegan ice cream sandwich and I didn't get it. I've been vegan for five years, so turning down food or like saying I can't have something is, I'm very used to that, but whenever there's a vegan option and I turn it down, that's like a new level for me. <laughs> that's prep so far, you are caught up. We are eight weeks out. I'm gonna order my suit sometime in the next two weeks. I still need to figure out what color. Okay, I'll check in with you guys probably on my walk. pretty weak. It's hard to find good cold brew these days. 11 a.m. Um, pick me up. One lack of direction, I can match a perspective I'm on wired for catch a small game and all. Okay, walk is done. It's definitely still hot outside. I'm gonna put together my lunch. 85 grams of this salad mix, half cup of quinoa, half cup of boca, which is a vegan meat crumble, half cup of black beans, it's got a quarter cup of salsa. It gets 31 grams of chipotle sauce and half a lime. That's quite good. Okay, I'm gonna eat my lunch, log back into work work this afternoon. Um, I will check in with you guys when I get a snack. <laughs> snack time. I'm not having chips. <laughs> I am going to have a protein smoothie, almond milk, creatine, protein, and peanut butter and ice for the texture. The trick is you blend it all up and then you add the peanut butter in at the end and just blend it for like a second because then you get like little bits of peanut butter and it's so good. And since 
protein powder is kind of gritty. I feel like that really helps just make it all seem like it's supposed to be like that. I'm talking to you. How was work? Just dropped a bunch of protein powder on my phone. so shiny. Work is over. My brain feels tired. I honestly didn't even work that hard today. <laughs> my brain still feels tired. I think just because I stared at a computer screen all day. I'm pretty sleep deprived. I think I only slept six hours the last two or three nights. That's not good. You got to get your sleep in prep. And I just, I really feel that lack of sleep right now. It's time for dinner. Uh, I'm going to have the same dinner I've been having for a long time. I just have like different portions of each component, ingredient, if you will. Next week, I'll have a different dinner for you. But for today, it's just gonna be baked sweet potato, Italian sausage, field roast sausage, and a broccoli slaw. I use that instead of rice when I don't have enough carbs for rice. And then a tahini dressing, which I'm gonna show you how I make that because I always talk about it, but I don't know if I've ever showed it. But this is my favorite dressing to put on like anything with sweet potatoes. Hello, I'm just gonna crouch. <laughs> So to make this tahini dressing, all you need is tahini, which is sesame seed butter, lemon juice, garlic powder, and water. I don't know any actual measurements because I just eyeball it and taste it and add more of whatever it needs. I like it very lemony, like very tangy and very garlicky. I'm going to use seven grams of tahini, which is like half a tablespoon. And I meet everyone in me for all time. I'm sorry to and then water, and then I just stir it up. I realize this does not look great, but it tastes pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna make my final dessert. It's only 6 11, but I just wanna try it. At Sprouts, this guy called out to me. It is pumpkin spice almond butter. I'm not like a huge pumpkin fan, but like I love our pumpkin creamer and I feel like this could be really good. Two rice cakes with pumpkin almond butter. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells like a pumpkin muffin or cookie or something from my dreams. Were you singing in the heights? No, I'm singing this smells so good. Oh, I'm a wreck. It tastes like the pumpkin bread I used to make, or the kind of like the banana bread. Okay, folks, my last little meal, little dessert. I almost want it to be a little bit sweeter, but it is good. Pretty good. Kind of anticlimactic. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I will see you in my next one, whether that's a workday video, grad school prep video, or a bikini prep video. See ya. I dropped a bunch of protein powder on my phone. Oh, yes, my phone. Ah! Help! Ah! Sad, I need help. Oh, I know, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back.